in a quiet corner of Roby Park in Gorham last week, thousands of honeybees found a home. Before you cringe and think, well, I'm never going there, rest assured these honeybees have little interest in you. They are there to do what they do best, produce honey. As 207's Peggy Kaiser reports, the folks who set them up and who will keep tabs on these bees are high school students and brand new members of the Gorham High School Bee Club. For a teacher, it's the stuff that so dreams are made of. This was one of those divine things that teachers are always hoping for when a student comes to you as a teacher and says, I'd like to learn about fill in the blank. Can you teach it to me? Catherine Paul is a Gorham High School English teacher, a homesteader, and more specifically, a beekeeper. Knowing that, her students came up with an idea. We'd like you to teach us how to be beekeepers. And that is exactly what she did. They took time during their pandemic remote days to meet on Zoom and learn just about everything they'd need to know to become beekeepers. And last week, Catherine and her beekeeping students set up new hive boxes ready to meet their bees, roughly 20,000 of them. And this will be the first time that they're taking their book learning and our discussions to hands-on Okay. Live bees. It's a really big deal. The bees come in boxes that are called nukes or nucleuses, two of them with an estimated 10,000 bees in each box. Before entering the bee pen, the kids start up the smoker used to calm the bees. The nukes are opened and one by one, the frames full of live bees, eggs, and larvae are lifted, gently transferred to the hive boxes and fit into place. The bees are really focused on their queen, and beekeepers try to identify the queen during this process, and they did. She's painted on the back with white, so they're only, they're, she's a little longer than the rest of them. So how did it feel to handle so many bees? I really enjoyed kind of like the process of it, like picking it up and doing it, and then thinking about what to do next. And just once you picked it up and you looked at it, you just kind of just all the anxiety went away, and you're like, this is nice, this is awesome. <laughs> I mean, you can think about it, you can read about it, you can watch videos about it, but then to actually have 20,000 bees swarming around you, you really have to have composure. Dylan Phillips is also one of the student beekeepers. You know, once you like, you got in there with them, they were really, really friendly. They weren't aggressive at all. And honestly, it's just like, it's really nice. It's peaceful, honestly. You start listening to the bees and it's just, it's a really slow, nice process. And it was a great day to do it. The bees identify which hive is theirs by the smell of their queen, and they all have different jobs. There are nurse bees and worker bees, even guard bees who stand at the entrance. They're one organism. Even though there's thousands of them, they live and breathe by each other. And so there's all this wonderful metaphorical um, meaning behind the community of bees and how and the hive mind and the and so. I think that if you're respectful of that, then they accept you as being part of their community. The students put sugar water feeders under the hive boxes to help the bees as they settle into their new home. They'll check on them over the summer and in the fall, hope to harvest some of the honey from the hive. There was a surprising calm that swirled around this little beehive of activity. Everyone watched as the students worked, almost forgetting that they were surrounded by tens of thousands of bees. Turns out bee enthusiasts come in all sizes. Why do you like bees? Because they make one of my favorite um, foods, honey. I've heard that bees are, like honey bees are really friendly. I've been watching a lot of bee videos. <laughs> Beekeepers will tell you that working with bees can be peaceful, that any anxiety you might have slips away. I'm going to make an English connection since I'm an English teacher. Uh, Thoreau was a beekeeper. Uh, I've read things about Emerson being a beekeeper. There's this kind of transcendentalist philosophy behind beekeeping where you, uh, you really need to be calm and centered and a part of nature in order to be a successful beekeeper. 
Again, the hives are housed in Roby Park, which is adjacent to Gorham High School. This really was a town wide effort. Gorham Public Works and the Rec Department built the bee yard to house the hives, and the bees came from Backwoods Bee Farm in Wyndham. The students will teach a beekeeping class at Gorham Rec next year. So, as a result of this project, there will be multiple generations of beekeepers in the Gorham community.